So in this chapter we're going to take a look at seg editing and voice tracking. So seg editing first of all then, and on the log screen you always have the seg edit screen up here, and it shows you how the segway is going to sound between the two items, and it always displays you the seg between the item that you've highlighted. Uh, from the item that's above it. So you can see here that there's our song wrong and uh, then our mixed sweeper 2 at the top here. So we can see that the sweeper ends, it's got the extra point which shows where the fade starts and also this long fade in here, when it reaches the top of the ramp that is where the vocals are going to begin. So that gives you a, a visual representation of where the vocals start. So to listen to this seg, it might be that uh, you're on air at the moment and you just want to tighten up this segue. You can click on the play button over here and it comes up with this message now saying that players have been reserved for the seg editor to use. Click on OK when you are ready to hear the seg. So that comes up and it gives you the ability, you can see down here, seg editor, seg editor. It's reserved cart players three and four. So then you would then obviously turn them off on the, the fader, close the fader and stick both of those faders onto pre-fade so you could listen to the seg. This is if you're on air, of course, already playing something from Cart Player 1 or Cart Player 2. If 3 or 4 was already empty, it would reserve another set of uh, Cart Players. It needs to reserve 2 and uh, so you just need to keep a watch over where the word seg editor comes up over which Cart Machine and then obviously reduce the uh, turn them off on the mixer desk. Once you're okay with that, uh, we can click on okay and what it will do is it will uh, give us a uh, review, a preview of how the sig will sound. Radio 24/7 24 So we get an idea of how the seg will be. Left click and drag on the Duran song and we can uh, move that around and we can have another listen to that is hot fm radio 24 7 we can move that out there and we can stop and preview it again fm radio 24 7 when we're happy with that we can push on the floppy disk there to save the changes and if you just look up at the screen here when i do that those two items have red as the timing information which shows you that they're locked into the schedule and uh, they won't be dropped or faded if uh, Myriad is in auto fade mode they will be kept and so when we're actually live on air that is how the segue will now sound so that's a, an easy way of just moving things around here and here when you're happy click on save and uh, job's done you can uh, still carry on retweak that resave it and it rechanges the details up there. So that's the seg editor, uh, just the mini seg edit. If you want to, you can click on seg edit here. And uh, what this does, it gives us a few more advanced controls here. And uh, what we can do is we can actually fade this earlier or stop it earlier. Radio and you can see here, we've changed the duration of the item. You can also drag here, left click. This is. And we've seen we're fading that down there. So we have the ability to uh, kind of crop that uh, sweeper. And also we can change the duration of the fade. So we can have a very tight fade. Or we can have a, a very long fade. That's just by left clicking and dragging on there. And we can see that it slowly goes down, enabling us to bring that in. And then when we're happy, again, we can click on the floppy disk and that will save any changes. If we're not happy, we want to abandon any changes, just click on the X there and then we can move out of seg edit. So that's the big menu. It shows you here on the arrow on the log which ones you are ch editing the segue between. And you can actually scroll up and down using the cursor keys or the mouse scroll wheel if you want to and move on to the next. So here, for example, we have a fading song. You can see where it hits the extra and it fades. So we can have a listen to that. We could actually just drag that in a little bit more. Crazy, 
and then when we're happy, floppy disk, and these two go red, which means that they're locked in position, and we can actually, if we uh, reduce down the seg edit, we can actually see now how that seg is going to sound, and we know that it's going to fade it a little bit earlier and start that song in there. So uh, that's seg edit. Useful if you need to trim the end of a song or even perhaps the, the end of a jingle. You can do that by left-clicking and dragging this black dot here, move things up and down, and then you can change the fade here by clicking on this one here. And uh, that will fade it earlier on, or you can just uh, make it tightly end. You've got abandon, you've got save, and you've also got stop there if you want to just stop how things are going. And again, that changes to preview. So that is how you can uh, change and sort of tighten up your segues between your songs and sort of make the show uh, kind of speed through at a, a slightly different tempo. Now we're going to move on to voice tracking then, which is the only other button here that we haven't touched on yet. And uh, we're going to do a voice track between these two songs. So voice tracking on Myriad basically allows you to uh, do a show, pre-record a show as it were, but in non-real time. So it might be that you do maybe four or five links per hour on your show is record those links and then the rest of the show will be mixed around you. So it can drastically cut down on the time that it takes to pre-record a show. So to, uh, to do a voice track, let's just uh, re revert these back to normal. And uh, what we want to do is we want to do a uh, voice track between these two songs, this is wrong and OMG. Now, <clears throat> what you need to do on your mixer desk, you need to make sure that um, you are just recording your voice. All you want to have on the recording session is your voice. You don't want to hear the end and the start of the songs. So you might have to do some configuration on your mixer, normally taking the, uh, the song faders, which are the carts three and four off the record bus is uh, what normally happens. So I'm just going to do that here on uh, my mixer desk. And so I've changed that for cart players three and four, taking them away from the record, because uh, when we start talking, what we want is just the voice only. OK, and it's going to record it into a set of carts on the audio wall that is configured up when you set it up Myriad. So when we're happy, we'll click on the microphone. It will play the last uh, 10 seconds of the track. And then when we're happy again, we will start talking. When we want the next song to play, we'll hit the space bar. And then when we want us to finish doing our link, we'll hit the space bar again and we'll see how it goes. So here we go. So then I start doing my link. I can uh, fire off. It's on the automatic audio at the moment so as soon as it figures out some audio it starts recording we can see the record over here we're recording for 12 seconds at the moment and when we want to we can hit the space bar that will start off the next song which you won't be able to hear by the way and so uh, but you'll be able to see it on the graphic here i'll hit the space bar now and the next song starts playing and uh, we can be talking away on this and of course we know that this one's got an intro of 24 seconds so we can see the intro of the song counting down here and then when we're happy and we finish doing our link we'll hit the space bar again and then it asks us whether or not we want to save the audio that we've recorded into 8016 we can say yes or no if we're happy with the audio then we'll hit on yes and then it saves it also normalizes it for us as well to make sure that the volume's okay and we can actually now see the the song here our voice link and the song here. You can see where we started playing the song as well. And now Seg Editor has reserved three of the car players to play that out because it needs to play the song, the link, and the other song. So uh, we can have a review of that and you can see how it, uh, how it sounds. So we can click on here to preview. So then I'll start doing my link. I can uh, fire off. It's on the automatic audio at the moment so as soon as it figures out some audio it starts recording we can see the record over here we're recording for 12 seconds at the moment 
and when we want to we can hit the space bar that will start off the next song which you won't be able to hear by the way and uh, but you'll be able to see it on the graphic here I'll hit the space bar now and the next song starts playing and uh, we can be talking away on this and of course we know that this one's got an intro of 24 seconds so we can see the intro of the song counting down here and then when we're happy and we finish doing our link we'll hit the space bar again and you can see there on the link that uh, we stopped recording and uh, so this is the live me taking over here so we can hit stop there to stop the uh, preview of the seg so that's all well and good we've done our voice link um, and we could be happy with that we could chop it a little bit if we wanted to maybe we left a little bit of silence at the end and what we could do because this is just dry it's completely dry even though music goes over the tail end of it we can left click and drag this song and we can drag this along here so it will actually start a little bit earlier so we'll do that again so then I'll start doing my link I can uh, fire off it's on the automatic audio at the moment so as soon as it figures out some audio it starts recording we can see the record over here we're recording for 12 seconds at the moment and when we want to we can hit the space bar that will start off the next song which you won't be able to hear by the way and so uh, but you'll be able to see it on the graphic here I'll hit the space bar now and the next song starts playing and uh, we can be talking away on this and of course we know that this one's got an intro of 24 seconds so we can see the intro of the song counting down here and then when we're happy and we finish doing our link we'll hit the space bar again Dear God, did you get so there you go we've been able to manually tweak how the segue sounds if we are happy with how this element of the seg sounds coming from the song into the voice link we could actually just scroll down one more and then we just have the the voice link here and the song and we can sort of tighten that tighten that segue up we can hit the space bar that will start off the next song which you won't so then we can uh, just concentrate on uh, hearing the actual song playing in the background so um that's a much easier way of concentrating on this part of the segue and uh, so the idea is that we're going to talk up to the vocals on this the intro of the song counting down here and then when we're happy and we finish doing our link we'll hit the space bar again and then uh, when we're happy with that we can of course click on the old floppy disk to save that and so that's added in all the details and when we're actually live in automation Myriad will fade those songs will duck them automatically underneath the voice link so that we come out on top and uh, so that is how you can do a voice link if you're not happy with your voice link then you can highlight it here and uh, what we'll do is we'll highlight it up in the log here we can delete it and we can delete it permanently and it says would you like to delete the cart we can say yes that gets rid of it completely and then we'll be ready to record again if we wanted to so here we go and then we start doing our link and so we're re-recording now over 8016 and when we're happy spacebar starts the next song and then when we're happy with our link we can hit the space bar once again ask us if we want to save it or not and we'll hit the space bar once again and that saves the link and normalizes it for us and then from there we could review it or we could just grab this in here and uh, move it around and uh, have a little play around with that we can actually move this voice link out here and continue to tweak a little bit further that's it and then that way we actually get the songs to overlap just uh, remove this off uh, off my record bus so we can actually review that so we want the song will play then a, another song will segue in and then later on our voice link will come along so let's have a listen to that we start doing our link and so we're re-recording now over 8016 and when we're happy spacebar starts the next song and then when we're happy with our link we can hit the spacebar once again 
So there you go, that's how we can uh, change our seg. So even though we recorded it a completely different way, where we played a song, then did a link, then played a song, we can move it around so it goes song, song, and then link right over the intro of the song. It's just designed to make it sound like you're there and live. So that is voice tracking, very powerful feature on Myriad and enhanced even further in Myriad 3.5.